Joining me now is Bill Fletcher with Unisource Mortgage. So welcome, Bill. It's great to have you with us today. Always wonderful to be with you, Jen. So it's back to school, right? <laughs> kind of change of seasons a little bit, or That's hopefully right. soon. And um, so, you know, it's been a while since we touched base. Can you kind of give us an update of what's happening in our market? Well, the, the real estate market, you talk to anybody around here who's involved in that industry, it continues to be very hot okay and, and that's that's very good for our economy it's it's good for sellers it's good for buyers yes uh, what we're seeing is uh, that amount of uh, inventory that was on the market related to short sales or foreclosures that is down considerably okay. so those distressed sales are moving their way out of the pipeline which is great for folks that comps. want to put their property it's on the market for exactly comps, right yeah it, exactly in fact what we're seeing as a result is we're seeing actual uh, transactions uh, ahead of the curve. And by that I mean we're seeing folks pay more okay. than what the property is listed that. So when we get their mortgage application in, I'm seeing uh, folks pay anywhere from five to $20,000 more than what the property is actually appraising at. Right, and that's a shift from how things have been for the last few years. So that's very exciting. Yes, absolutely. That's great news for, for our local economy. Now, what about, you know, there's been a lot of mortgages have been making headlines. You know, there's a lot of talk about the industry at the moment. So what's the trend at the moment in applications? What are you seeing? Well, with the interest rates slightly increasing, mm -hmm. we are now seeing a, a very good increase in actually folks who are refinancing okay. their current mortgage. And we really see that from three different areas. We okay. see that in jumbo mortgages, those loan amounts that exceed $417,000, jumbo rates prior to uh, or during the recession were actually exorbitant. Right. And those yes, are now coming down in line with the market. Uh, we're seeing folks transition from adjustable rate mortgages or balloon mortgages into a fixed rate to minimize right. their risk. Uh, so those are really two big areas that we're seeing. And uh, as well, we're seeing folks take advantage of the increased equity in their home. Uh, right. So Which is refreshing, all of this stuff, you know, after someone who worked in that industry, like through the worst of it all, it's so wonderful. It's like music to my ears to hear this. That's exactly right. Now, what about, you know, Lenders got a little tight for a while with their cash, right? Very are they, tight, are, I mean, yes, are yes. They're stingy if you want to be blunt about it. So but, what, are they lightening up a little, you know, seeing the error of their ways? Well, well, it, it's been an understandably slow process. Sure. But the answer is yes. They are starting to loosen some of those uh, very stringent standards that they okay. had in place. And all we're seeing really is a return to common sense lending. Yay. Which is fair for the lender, yes. it's fair for the consumer. Those companies that base their pipelines on those no income mortgages, no right. asset, no job, whatever, they're not around today for right. a reason. They didn't survive. So right. uh, a return to common sense lending practices is really advantageous for everyone involved. Well, and you know, someone like you, you're an expert at what you do, and you have a very deep and profound understanding of this business and, and what's best for the people involved. So I know thank your you. clients and potential clients are in great hands. So as always, Bill, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you, Jen.